Hello, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. You rate and review my podcast if you like me, and you can follow me on Instagram. It's Yes King Oliver. Tatty bye. Storytelling, all the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You're able to have an like because storytelling is having impact. Having impact is having influence. You know, having influence is being a god. Being a conscious creator. You know, conscious creator. If you laugh, mate, I haven't used this conservatory in a while. It's nice to get some use out of it. It's also good to get light to the back of your eyes. Because... Light to the back of your eyes? Yeah. People mm. are blind and people wear glasses mm. because they're in fake light all day mm. looking at a screen mm. that doesn't change from that distance. Mm. So their long vision gets weaker mm. because the muscle is just locked in mm. at this level every single time. So now when they go out and they drive, they can't see shit. So now they wear glasses. Then what happens is that muscle just goes to sleep for the rest of your life. Because now the magnifier's doing it. <laughs> and then what happens is, as you get, your eyes get weaker, because mm-hmm. they they're not building, like, going backwards and forwards, you now increase the magnifying glass, which is stronger glasses. Mm-hmm. And then your eye gets weaker and weaker and weaker. Interesting. And it's all to do with light. We see based on light. Mm-hmm. If you're in a dark room reading a book, this is not a coincidence why people who read books always wear glasses. Why? Because they always read a book that close. <laughs> And their eyes are that close. Mm. They're reading words on a fucking book. Tiny words mm. that is non-existent in the kingdom, right? Mm. Words written on caves and tombs with symbols, mm. right? With light shining on it. Not mm. some black writing on a white page, font f- 10, mm. right? In a bedroom with a fake light. That light isn't even like salt lamp light. It's like fake man-made light. Mm. It's not even real light. Mm. Like the sun is an orange light. Mm. Indoor light is just blue light, white light, whatever. Mm. It's fake light. It's not like part of the natural spectrum. So you're like, saying that reading books has a negative impact on your sight? Reading books makes people blind. And then when you wear glasses, you're now using the glasses lens to magnify your sight and your eyes just go to sleep. Mm. What's the point if your eyes working, if your fucking lens is working? If you give yourself vitamin D tablets, yeah, your body's not going to take vitamin D from the sun and, and do the same thing. It's doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's like one leader, yeah. you know? Yeah, interesting. Um, if you take immune tablets, your enemy won't have its chance to build itself, you know? That's what I do. Although we are, although our, um, we should be taking, what's it called, minerals for sure, because the soils are depleted. The dear soils are depleted. When you think about it, our garden, yep. under the grass, which is man-made seed, mm. was demolished building site, bricks, stones, Mud, clay. It's a building site. If you saw this before, mm-hmm. it was a field. It's dug up, foundations created, all the mud goes in a pile, then they spread it out and they put grass on. How the fuck are you supposed to grow anything in, that, in the garden? You can't. You know? And every single time, like, a farmer churns its field up and then you grow shit and then the, the vegetables suck those nutrients from the soil and then we eat it and take it. That's it, that's it. It doesn't go back in the ground. Yeah. Because we've taken, like, the plant's taken some nutrients and it's fucked off. And you do that again and again. Eventually, you're just left with, like, mud, but with no nutrients. It's just whatever. It's it's dead mud. It's dead mud. It's like, how many times can you eat a turd and get nutrients out of it? (laughs) You can't. Because you've already taken the nutrients, so now next time you eat your turd, um, you just eat a turd. It's like people who drink (laughs) urine. This is a new new fad at the moment. I've heard that, yeah. There's a word for it. I can't remember. Drinking it on urine. That's something too, like, it puts I'm not sure. back. Something about your immunity, I don't know, but yeah. I, don't, I really don't fancy it. No. At all. Even the smell of an unwashed toilet in a pub. It depends how hydrated you are. I don't know, but I'm going to go for a week. Right. I'm, I'm really hydrated. With you. Like, uh, what noise is a trumpet, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were actually asking me to. <laughs> Today's Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan on uh, protein shakes because I think it's like feeding a plant <clears throat> too much water, not enough food. One bit's grown, the other bit isn't. 
I'm going to the gym, just doing, just doing body, um, arms, not legs. Giving your body too much extra something, and it's like, what about the rest? Like, we're told we need a balanced diet, carbohydrates, protein, fats, fucking all this type of crap. I'm like, no we don't, that's man-made. Carbohydrates comes from like pasta and rice, that's man-made, right? So what you're left with? What other stuff is carbohydrate -y? Potatoes, that type of shit. Well, who says that that potato is more carb than fat or protein versus a nut is more fat than protein? It's all part of life. It's all nature. Nature won't choose what to have. It's like it will eat what it needs to eat to survive. You know, if you're a plant eater versus animal, you're just going to eat plants. You're not going to be like, actually, this, this plant is a... This potato isn't giving me as much energy as this fucking oh, look. nut. What? You can see the snow falling against the dark clouds over there. That's it's nice. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? That's cool. Can you see it, mate? Yeah. It's insane. The okay. cloud is moving over us. Every time that you get undressed, it's beautiful, I mate. symphonies in my head. I love this song just looking at you. Um. <clears throat> you know what you need? You know what we should have done, mate? A rubber dildo? No. Uh, like a, an, a podcast stand so that you have an app. Well, I said we should invent Anyone could invent this. You have an app that connects both your phones and then it's a stand, a two-sided phone stand. So you put your phone standing camera facing you, my camera facing me, with a good compressor microphone in the middle and then we just hit record and then like each camera's facing us. So we can just actually have the visual podcast as well as the audio podcast. Little, little thing, put it in your pocket. Yeah. Um, and there you go. Because you need to get the visuals of these podcasts, man. We're always responding to shit around us. You know? However, what I will say is that the money in podcasting is when you're, you're on a plane in the middle of a, middle of a hole underground, no Wi-Fi, and you downloaded something and you're know, listening to it. <clears throat> it's very hard to... And it takes time and money and bandwidth stuff to download videos and shit. Stephen Barber's podcast, if you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's just had his added on the, the aeroplane TV flights for Virgin Airways. Has he? Yeah. Wicked. Sick, isn't it? Do you just get paid for that? Mm, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure, probably. Well, yeah, it's intellectual property, isn't it? I guess he talks about the ads in there. Interesting. <coughs> and it's interesting to see this whole podcast thing like flourish. Seeing your views on the app the other day, earlier, half a million views. That's right. How many years are you into this? How many months? So, uh, Nike was my first ever guest. Yes. I, I wanted to start a podcast. I went to London, knowing I'd find his person. I just was guided towards him, he was busking, and I said, you know, all attraction, energy, purpose, spirituality, all this stuff, crap. And he was like, yes, and then we did a podcast. He was the first person, and then 500,000 downloads later. Feb 2020 is when I met him. Two years later, I'm on 500,000 downloads. And I said, Nike, I'm going to be the next big podcaster. He said he's going to be a musician. And we started our journey. We continue our journey. And uh, this is the third time I've met him. How long have you been thinking, well, yeah, how long have you actually been thinking about the podcast before you started it? Three weeks. Really? Yeah. It just suddenly came to me. I'm just like, I didn't even know what the podcast was. I didn't know what podcasting was. It's the same, isn't it? I, knew, I saw the app on my phone, the pink microphone thing that said podcast. Yeah. What the hell is a podcast, right? And then, and then I just, just set it up. Is it? It's the same, isn't it? Yeah. I thought, perfect, I can just talk to people. Shit, I have no eggs. How do you want your eggs in the morning? I walk my own with keys. I'm satisfied. Do you have a favourite song? Um, no. Just like, I like all music. Yeah. Every music has its own unique thing, whether it's metal, opera, rap. It has a, a place, a time, a function, a yeah. role to play. Like that Eminem rap song, I'm going to get charged, listen to it. If you want to get inspired and put the washing out, probably not going to inspire you to put the washing out. Yeah. For sure. You would like, There is so are you. 
That's what you want to be washing out. <laughs> some really like some, some, some sound, sound, of like the music, sound of music kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah, man, plants in this conservatory is a good shot. Look, blue sky. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. If I was to go. So the vision, right, is to say go to like Thailand or some other country. We've got a head of headpiece on with a microphone because mm. it's clip shit. Mm. It's just, it's just, it's not the same, right? I like the little wires, you know. Yeah, so it's it's picking up um, our mic. We can yeah. also hear each other. Yeah. Because if you're like, if it's noisy or whatever, mm. you can't really hear. But the microphone's not picking up the noise. Mm. So you're walking around the jungle or the woods, and you're just talking about, oh my god, fuck me, look at this amazing thing, and people mm. are like, what are you looking at? Oh my god, what? You know what you need? That's when the camera, the camera crew comes in. You need these, like, sh- like glasses. AI have, got, yeah. They have cameras, so we see what you see. That's a good idea, okay. There you go. That's a very good idea. And then the earpiece is in the glasses, connected via Bluetooth. That's a good idea. Yeah. Just imagine, rather than a typical um, podcasting video like where you've got, like, Joe Rogan on his desk and then Sadhguru the other side... Mm. Just imagine that the, the video is simply these um, AI goggles where whatever I see... So imagine the camera, rather than seeing Joe, seeing the other guests, and then seeing both of them. Yeah, yeah. But the view is me looking at Joe yeah. through my eyes, yeah. and then when Joe's speaking to me, yeah. you then see it coming out of yeah. his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever he's looking around, yeah. it's exactly what he's seeing yeah, in real yeah. time. So I'm, I'm, I'm at my studio, or I'm in the woods, and I'm talking and I'm looking around and you can yeah. see in real time yeah. when I see that bird and I'm talking yeah. and I'm like, oh my god look at that bird yeah. you can go and see that but camera crew doesn't have to follow it yeah. it's, it's not the same way you like see it from the third person yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, first person third, first person versus third person the camera crew's yeah. got to go over there it's too late but if I'm acting in real time when yeah. I see that power yeah, yeah, yeah. when I go over there and you're seeing me talking about this amazing power oh my god look at that mm. look at it man and people can see like Joe's eyes from his mm. camera on the upper part of the screen, and I can see mine, and then, oh my god, okay, that is... Imagine that, mate. Imagine doing live podcasts, live mm. streaming podcasts. Through AI. Insane, wouldn't it? Mm. Like, let's say you're in the fucking, That's I don't know. cool. Your... Because Snapchat, in, in, Snapchat ma- glasses, do you remember? No. Snapchat did a thing called Snapchat glasses. Didn't it? Meaning you get glasses yeah. next to Snapchat, and what you look at is on your Snapchat. Well, it's, bro, it's a matter of time until Apple make glasses or Google make glasses. Samsung, they're all going to make glasses. Like, we now we have the eye watch. We're going to have the eye glasses. Yeah. Or the eye shades or something like that. Well, they, whatever they're going to call it. pick up your observation yeah. on the lens. Yeah. And eye bone or there. eye rays or... Yeah, mate. And it's all, like, it's got fucking GPS, all that shit. Mate, it's going to be insane. It's going to have a little, you can, a little screen you can see into. You can control it with your eyes. It's going to be madness, mate. Can read fucking messages. Reply, Siri. Hey Siri. Read no, because it will just pick up your thoughts in your brain, and you'll just think of the message, and it will just come out. That'll be extra advanced. That'll be with chips and stuff, not like. So it will pick up like your frequencies, your thoughts, mm. and your what your thoughts are in terms of words. Honest, so you'll yeah. think that word, and it will pick up the frequency just, which connects yeah, to that. It's just a matter of time until they actually create an algorithm for a, like a, a sensor. That, that interprets human brainwave fully yeah. comprehensively yeah. and then is able to respond. I used to always think, is there going to be a point where people can know what I'm thinking? Yeah. If I'm visioning like some sexy female, <laughs> can, they, can they see that? Or if sure. I'm visioning where I've kept my gold, mm. can somebody see that? Interesting. Like a projector that says, I'm visioning my gold buried in my garden. <laughs> can anybody see that? And the answer yeah. is, Seems like it's going to be possible. Yeah. Pick up your thoughts and translate those thoughts into pixels and then into image. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Madness. Mm. Yeah, bro, that'd be sick. All right, that's the, that's the project, bro. That's the, the goal to aim for now. What we've just said. Make it happen. Five years. Well, no, what you need is... Five years, make it happen. Whether it's the technology you need to gather, create... Or the funds, or just whatever it takes to make it happen. So it's um, it's, it's glasses that record. Well, it's glasses that pick up audio and vision. Yeah. Goes into my phone. Yeah. But you won't need the camera because it will stream the what you're seeing out the camera lens. 
onto the app or whatever. But it's best out of the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because whatever I'm talking yeah. about, I'm seeing. Yeah. Right, that's actually a really good idea. Mm-hmm. I don't think it'd work on like Zoom calls, but the whole point is I want to get off the Zoom calls. I want to be in the middle of the fucking jungle with African yeah, man, you'd right? You'd be in the jungle. Telling with, me... Yeah, with your, 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 your guide or How whatever. to eat honey properly and how his ancestors used to just grab the honey and eat it. And then I go to the Himalayan mountains and meet the Mr. Nepal man and he's like, how to hold your breath for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. And you can see me looking at him talking yeah. about how to hold your breath. And you can yeah. see fucking monk man in the mountains, which no one's ever come across before because I'm there yeah. talking to him. Holy shit, no, okay. Holy, literally. <laughs> that's, my, that's my fucking goal. Okay. I want to take this podcast into people, like fly out to, I guess, in Egypt, into America, mm-hmm. Lincoln for you. Mm-hmm. Podcasting on the road isn't a real thing. Let's say Russell Brand's promoting his book. Mm-hmm. He'll go out there, mm-hmm. but the podcast host stays there. Mm-hmm. No one's got the time or the money to just fuck off to Thailand, to Bali, to do a podcast for an hour and come back. Mm-hmm. I want to be so financially independent that I can do that. Mm-hmm. The passion of conversation mm-hmm. and not the money. Mm-hmm. I feel like the shit. Mm. I want to speak to you and experience your life, mm. try some of your food whilst next to a parrot. <laughs> and you can see what I can see through the glasses, man. And I'm hear not... the sounds and everything, man. Have like a little corner bit where it gives you the temperature, the location, the time of where you're at. Mm. All that shit, you know. So people can get a real feel for the experience. They can imagine it, you know. They know how warm it is. Humidity, they know how fucking humid it is. What fucking... No, but what's amazing is that people be able to put on their own glasses and see through my glasses. Bro. Rather than looking at my screen, looking at the no person, way. they put my glasses Where on and can see the same shit. Bro, I've just had an idea. What? All your listeners, when they follow you, when they subscribe, you send them, like, the, what are they called? The fucking virtual glasses goggles. So that the only way to listen to your podcast... Well, that's not true. That's a bit excessive. But it's to go through the goggles so that they can actually, like, turn and see what you're seeing. It's been insane, isn't it? With a full, like, wide vision. Responsive, all that shit. Insane. But they wouldn't be able to control it. That's the only thing. Yeah, so... They put the glasses on yeah. and they'd see what I see, yeah. but they wouldn't move. Yeah. Which is fine, because otherwise you're looking at a laptop yeah. and then looking at yeah. a person. So it's all about that next step of human consciousness yeah. feeling something that's not here like it yeah. is here well they've, they're creating the suits or they've created the suits have you seen Ready Player One? no oh you need to you have to watch that film man it's about what we're talking about essentially the future of civilization is going to be these virtual this virtual reality where you don't leave your house you just pop your glasses on you become your avatar that you've created which looks nothing like you and everyone lives that way people learn piano dance go to school that way they like it's a whole society. Like, it's the metaverse, mate. Yeah. I want to say as far away as that from the shit as possible. Yeah, man. Of course. If you want to go blind, well, that's the, that's the first thing you're going to do. Well, that's... It's put on some stupid fucking glasses that your eye only looks a millimetre away. You're not going to be able to see bloody grass. Look out the window, you're blurred. Imagine being that close for, like, all that time. You look out, you can't see shit. <laughs> Seriously. Have There's no light Have you ever used the, the, glass, the goggles? No. Yeah, they're awesome. Fucking insane. I'm sure it is. But it is it is mad when you take them off. It's like, whoa. Exactly, it's not good. Yeah. It really isn't good. It's you, so stimulating. Can you imagine like, a teenager bro, who's spending eight hours in his bedroom kids. with these fucking yeah. things on? He will come out, he will be blind. Mate, he can't even see his dinner. Well, it's dopamine overload. Everything's firing off at once because it's so stimulating. The sound, you've got little speakers right next to your ears, you can put like in ears. It's like the. The, the view, like, the, the visuals are so good, so responsive. It's insane, man. And it's just the beginning, man. It's only been going on for two, three years, commercially. So it's madness. But, like, yeah, nothing can replace sharing a space with someone, being in the energy, you know. Again, this all comes down to money. People bored, like Elon Musk, yeah. got so much money, what can I do next? Let's create a robot dog. <laughs> hey boy, open the fridge, get me beer out. Okay, you go on. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Mr. Robot. <laughs> woof, woof. Wagging its tail. This <laughs> 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 electric tail. <laughs> Look at 
this weather, man. It's so like I don't know what to do with it. Well, if it AI goggles, you'd see me looking up. Yeah. Just remember, this is cool, right? I'm just looking up, and the person's got the goggles on. They see me talking as I'm looking up. Do you think that's just going to become a norm then? Yeah, of course it will. Course. Everyone's going to wear yeah. goggles, and then it will just be like, call your friend. Let's say you're in London and I'm in Manchester, and I call you, and I'll be like, wait, change your vision to my goggles. Look at this. Yeah, of course. And then we'll yeah, just... that's it. It'd be like um, an Apple Watch connected to the phone. You yeah. put your goggles on, all you connected to the phone. You'd be like, call Dan. Yeah. And Dan's got his glasses on, yeah. so you can see exactly what Dan can see. And then you're like, oi, Dan, turn to the left. Bro. Because we know this is definitely going to happen, yeah, and this is being recorded, so this is on the record. What year do you think, guess, take an, uh, a guess, what year do you think will achieve that for, like, normality? Well, uh, the majority are doing it. The majority, like the majority of people have smartphones. Not everyone, but a good majority oh, as I'd well. say within five years. You reckon? The yeah. goggles? Because goggles are already out there. Yeah, but they're not. All you've got to do is project all the vision of that onto someone else's... Screen like that's 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 happening. Mm-hmm. It's the same as Snapchat. The goggles yeah, record yeah. what's coming out on Snapchat. Mm. Like I could record my podcast through Snapchat, and people would see that, and then they could put the glasses on mm. and watch that thing mm. through the glasses. Mm. That's already out there. But they didn't really kick off the Snapchat thing. It's called yeah. Specs. Specs. Someone else has done it, man. I know Apple have already got a prototype or something, or I've heard of it. Yeah, I'm sure they're all doing it. Samsung, Google, Microsoft, Apple. All of these people. Elon Musk probably got that shit down. I mean, think about there's already like settled human civilization on Mars for years now. It's been happening for years. We set up camps. Like it's yeah, they've already got like small little communities there. It's madness. Howdy, thanks for listening to my episode. Uh, if you could remember to rate and review the episode after you've listened, that'd be fantastic. And also subscribe so when I release a new one, you get a notification. And also, please tell your friends on socials about me podcast. Now I'm going for a poo, I'll be back later. Have a great day and speak to you soon.